I'm here to tell you, gentlemen, man, it's only gotten worse, too, since uh, Kevin Samuels was doing you this. You can expect us to be wifey material for someone that doesn't deserve it. Automatically wrong. Right. Okay. Like, so look at her. It's always... I, I expect you to appreciate the men that built the world around you that allow you to be able to live in the first... It's always some 30, 32-year-old gallons of makeup and uh, that thinks she's the shit that has such a completely inaccurate representation of her own value that she thinks she deserves a rich man. She thinks because she's hot, she's too good and she needs a rich man. And this is not just her. Like, it's become the, the main sentiment of these women is uh, I'm too good for an average man, firefighters, police officers, electricians. Those are those, those are average men. Despite the fact that they make 55, 60K a year, probably doing well for themselves. Those are average men. We don't want average men. We want the guy with the yachts and the can take us on the trips and, and can cash us out. And it's, it's like, she repulses me. Just looking at her repulses me. And, and this is one, it'd be one of the only, uh, I'll talk about that in a second. Let's watch the rest of it. This world country. The entitlement you guys have. For real. So entitled. In college today, the average man sitting in college with a woman knows that that woman wants a man making six figures. Isn't that sad? They can't even date because today young women. He's right. They can't even date. Young, yeah, like. The men you typically date are older and have money. Yeah. You know, that stat where they say, uh, one in three, 33% th of young men nowadays under the age of 30, well, are reaching the age of 30 at, at, and virgins at the age of 30 because of the entitlement. These women are only dating the top 5% of men in society. They're all dating the same dudes and they have no idea. They're clueless. You know, this ain't going to get any better, you guys. You want everything. You don't know what the world costs. And that is why most women cannot respect men. Yeah, they, they want everything. They think... Treat them equal. I, like, I hear them all the time. Like, oh, you know, uh, I'm just never settling again for, for a man that I know is not, you know, good enough for me or whatever. Like, if you're never settling again, well, then you're never going to have a relationship again. Because all relationships require some degree of settling. So, uh, you know... And what I was going to say is, there's only a few things that could help this problem, that could really fix this problem. And both of them probably aren't going to happen. Women would have to start checking other women for this behavior. That's one of the only solutions, is women's behavior has to change. And it will, and like overall society starts noticing the birth rate and stuff like that, it's going to change from, no, don't go out and waste your whole 30s and be a hus sleep with whoever you want, body positivity and live your life. You go, girl. No, find you a man, marry him and start popping out some kids and have a family. That will be the sentiment of society again. That's one, one thing. The other thing would be men like me standing together and just having these boundaries and, and just choosing like, no, I'm not messing with women like this. I am not giving a woman like that my time ever. I don't care if I'm a millionaire. If I hear her say she wants a man that makes over 100K a year, short term only. That's it, man. I don't care if I'm a millionaire. It doesn't matter. Short term only. I will not deal with one of these females at 33 that think they're better than the 25 year olds running around. I will not do it. And men need to stand together and say and do the same. It's the only thing that would, uh, you know, really like, I, I know everybody's always asking, well, red pill guys say this and they say that, but they never offer a solution because there is no solution. The solution is almost impossible. Women need to quit acting crazy, quit being hot. And that's not going to happen, you know, uh, there, there is no solution. The only solution is women's behavior must change, period.
and uh, men's behavior also. These flower boy ass men, other men need to start shaming those men again. I, I don't know if shaming is a good word, but if you're, there should be some stigmatization of being a fool. It's not, you know, rocket science. People look down on us, but like the feminist lie has pushed to these women, like, you know, that just sleeping with a bunch of dudes and wasting your whole 30s is actually empowering, you know? But yeah, there is no solution, you guys. Like, there are things that could incrementally make it get better a little bit over time, but I don't think it's gonna happen, man. I think the feminist message worked too well. I think it was a, a resounding success even way better than they even thought it was going to be. It started out with the goal to destroy monogamy and destroy the nuclear family, as they call it. And it worked too good. Literally, uh, you know, I think it worked way better than they even expected. But gentlemen, it's just getting worse. You can't deal with these type of women, man. These entitled ass women. If they even get to spouting any feminist type of shit, Get up and walk away, man, because they're not worth it. These women's brains are broken. I, I don't know how else to say it. They want it all, and they think they're gonna get it all because they see such and such on Instagram that has that seems to have it all, the white picket fix with, with the family and this and that. So I see them having it all. Why can't I have it all too? Not realizing that the person you're following on Instagram is life is just as fucked up as yours. They just hide it better. But there is no solution, guys. That, that's why red pill guys give you a solution or don't give you no solution because the red pill message alone was never meant for the mainstream. It was meant for guys like here. Here's the information. Here's the truth about the information and you know do with it as you will but it was never meant for the mainstream it was never meant to provide a solution it was meant to tell you the problem and the lies and, and to separate the lies from from the truth about women and unfortunately they're right about most of the they say you know uh and it's sad Anyway, I'm gone, guys. I've been doing this for like five years. I don't have any subscribers. Please subscribe to the channel. It would really help me out. Um, it's the only way that the algorithm will push will push these type of videos and not consider them misogynistic and shit. As if people are commenting, people are liking, people are subscribing. Other than that, these type of videos get lumped right into the toxic masculinity category and never get seen ever. So please subscribe. It would help me out. I appreciate it, guys.